Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Diane and this is going to be a little quick pick a card reading for Monday the 8th of May. Um, so pile number one is the red jasper, pile number two is the uh, blue appetite and pile number three is the amethyst. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile. Okay, so I'll move this guy out of the way. Okay, pile number one, the red jasper. So you guys had, you have the six of wands. Ooh, victory, good news on its way, public recognition or awards. You have a personal issue reaches resolution, the full moon and cancer. You have, ooh, this, this is a good message. Um, the eight of swords, an illusion of being trapped, a lack of confidence, afraid to take action. And you have the fool, okay. A leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. You also have concern, poverty. Don't worry, this is a good message. <laughs> Change and thief. Okay, so there's something that's been going on with you, some kind of personal issue, okay? Um, this may have come to a conclusion like over the full moon, because we just had a full moon in Scorpio and there's also an eclipse happening as well. Um, so that, you may have noticed that sort of pushed some energy aside for you, so you might be feeling really good at the moment. Um, I'm not sure what this was in particular, it's going to be different for everyone, but there was something with the Eight of Swords here, there was some kind of energy that was keeping you stuck. Um, something that was like sapping your energy, something that was stopping you from moving forward. It was making you feel trapped, okay? But see with the Six of Wands, that's done now. Like the Six of Wands is about moving forward after, you know, a period of lack of action. And it also talks about, I always see it as kind of winning a war. So this is like um, something that was keeping you stuck. You know, it could have been a person, for example, like someone that took a lot of energy from you or like something from the past that you were letting go of. It could be something like that as well. Um, but I feel like it was sapping a lot of your energy. But you're about to move forward now with the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands usually, um, you know, it, it talks about moving forward pretty fast, right? And then you have the Fool here as well, which is like all about a new beginning. So I feel like you have this new beginning coming in because whatever this issue was for you, whoever this person was or this situation was to like sapping all your energy, it's, um, it's solving itself. But it was something that caused you a lot of concern. Like it's something that you were thinking a lot about. Um, and I also feel like, see with this poverty card here, it may even have stopped you from... <clears throat> excuse me, like it may have been dealing with someone at some point that made you feel very left out in the cold. Now that could be anything, that, was still, that could be something that was still in your life until recently, that could be something from your childhood that you solved. <clears throat> My throat is also going so it could be something to do with your throat chakra opening up as well. Um, but this could have been, you know, maybe um, a bad relationship or something like that as well. It could be anything, but it, it's something that made you feel like left out in the cold, making you feel kind of worthless. Um, but I feel like it also has like, it stopped you from moving on personally, but I also feel like it's gotten in the way of you making money for some reason, because like you're, it, it was sapping your energy in some way, you know? So maybe you did a cord cutting or something like that, but you have change coming in now, okay? Because you've let go of this thing. So you should, you should, things should start feeling a lot easier for you now, okay? Like making money should feel a lot easier because this could be like a lack mindset as well. You, you might have released a lot of things as a thing. It might not just be one thing, um, but you're just gonna, st things are just gonna start feeling a lot easier now because this thing has been removed from your life or your psyche as well. So 
that is your message pile number one. Um, I hope you found it useful and hopefully um, it resonated and you know what I'm talking about. Um, thank you so much for watching and as always I wish you many blessings, love and light. Uh, pile number two, you guys had the blue appetite. Ooh, you have the king of pentacles. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. Oh my god, you have the four of wands. Oh my god, pile number two. This is awesome. Um, you have, oh my god, you have the ten of cups. Well, someone's about to be very happy. And you have, conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. You may have been drawn to pile number one as well. Um, if you were, you might want to go and watch that first, actually. So I think... This seems to have been the case in general. It's been coming up in a lot of the readings. People seem to have been clearing a lot out with that full, the most recent full moon and the eclipse. Like it seems to have moved a lot of stuck energy. You also have message of concern, great fortune and wealthy man. <laughs> um, you're about to be very happy pile number two. I feel like a lot of you were probably drawn to pile number one, okay? There's something, I feel like something has left your life or you've you've finished with something and it's brought someone else in. I feel like this is a person. You're about to get a message from someone, message of concern. It's not gonna be something concerning, but it will be something that surprises you or you might meet this person out of the blue. They're gonna bring in it could be an earth sign because you have a wealthy man here and you have the king of pentacles so it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I feel like this person is wealthy, <laughs> okay? I'm just going to go ahead and say that because you have like so many cards of like someone that's wealthy. And you have the four of wands here which is about like a happy home, um, you know, a committed relationship, contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So you're going to get some... I mean, I don't know if this is love coming in for you. It could be. If you're looking for love, I feel like this probably is love because you have so many love cards here. But if you're not looking for love, this could be someone offering you work in some way, like if that's what you, you've been waiting to hear about. Um, but this King of Pentacles here, generous, professional, responsible, practical. And you have great fortune. I'm going to pull another card on this. Where's the deck? There's definitely a person here. I actually feel like a couple of things are coming in for you. You have this Ten of Cups here, right? So this is like um, emotional fulfillment. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. You have someone coming in now. Yeah. Hold on. What else for pile two? Yeah. Okay, I don't know who this is coming in. Um, you have courthouse and you have pathway here as well. So this person coming in, they're new. This is a newer energy, okay? I think you're gonna end up dating this person. You have the courtship card here as well. Um, they do have money. I feel like they could be an earth sign. They're gonna make you very, very happy. A contented and rewarding family life. Yeah, the Ten of Cups is like total emotional fulfillment. Um, but I also feel like you're going to be very abundant with this person. This might be someone that you end up moving in with, like quite fast or something like this. You know, with this message of concern and this Four of Wands. Like you guys, you might be getting a message from someone. Like, you know, you're going to have to take this as it resonates. But for some of you, you might end up moving in with this person quite quickly because you have that message of concern in the Four of Wands, which is something that came up in Libra's reading, so you could be dealing with a Libra. Um, but they have strong earth in their chart, I would say. This is someone who's like, like official in some way. They have like a decent job. You know what I mean? Like, well, all jobs are decent, but you know, this, this is someone, they're like, like a manager or someone like in charge, like someone official. And I think they make quite a bit of money here and they're very generous. They're very down to earth, very responsible. 
and it will be someone that you're dating, but I feel like they're also gonna help you out with money is the thing. So you might end up living with this person and that's how you end up with so much more money, right? <laughs> but I feel like you have money and like a safe home coming in and a very happy relationship with this person. Um, you also have pathway and you have courthouse. So this person, maybe they've gone through a divorce or they're going through like a legal settlement or something, or you might meet them through the court system or something, you know, if you're involved in that. Like, I'm not saying that you're about to be sued or anything, but like maybe you work there or something, or you know someone that's a lawyer or a barrister or something, but it's a very blessed pathway. And this came up, I'm sure this came up for Libra. See, this could definitely be a Libra coming in, okay? And I feel like they're, they're coming in now because you've made space for them, because I feel like you've let something go, okay? So, that was your message pile number two i hope you uh, i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and as always i wish you many blessings love and light and pile number three you have the amethyst so you have the king of cups so you could be dealing with a libra or a water sign cancer scorpio pisces you have the seven of wands you have a time for healing which does not want to focus. There we go. And you have, oh, you have a gift, thoughts, and high honor. I kind of feel like all the piles are related today. <laughs> I just have a feeling. So there's, I feel like this is a person coming in for you. Um, this is someone that's been thinking about you. They think about you a lot, okay? With the king of water, I feel like this is someone they're gonna be very healing for you, okay? It doesn't have to be love, but it's like, it could it could very well be if that's something you've been looking for, but they're gonna be very, very healing for you. They could be um, a water sign as well, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the King of Cups. They're very balanced, very loving. Um, they've, like the, the, the King of Cups is all about self-mastery, you know? Um, they have a lot of love to give, they're going to be very supportive, very generous. They could work for a charity. They could be very artistic. They could be spiritual in some way. This is someone who I think it's taken you a while to open your heart to because you have the Seven of Wands, which talks about, you know, having your defenses up, right? You may have been drawn to pile number one. So I think this is someone that you've like, I want to say finally, because your heart is finally open, they're coming in, okay? I feel like they've been waiting to come in. They're very trustworthy. They're very compassionate. Um, this is someone very well respected. They think about you a lot. I think they've really been waiting for you to come in. This person is very honorable with high honor. Like they, um, they have good morals. They're well respected by people. I think because they are such a good person and you have gift. So this person's coming in to help you is what I want to say. Okay. They might even like want to spoil you a little bit here. Cause I'm seeing like all these things here, they're fish, but they kind of look a little bit like presents to me. So this person might, um, I don't know, they might buy you flowers or like try, you know, take you out for lunch or just give you like, uh, gifts of love or attention or something like this, you're going to feel like this person is a gift and they actually are. It's a, they're a gift from the universe. Okay. But I feel like this person, they want to give to you, but they couldn't do it until your defenses came down. If you see what I mean. Um, cause look, you've been hiding behind your dragon here. <laughs> you see? So this could be someone that you've known for a while as well. But um, it's taken them a while to get past your, de your defenses kind of thing. And uh, I do think they're going to try and spoil you, okay? At the very least, like, they're going to try and help you. They might do nice things for you. You know, like, if you've got a lot on, they might try and take some of the burden off you. Um, it could very well, you know, like I said, I feel like this, if you're looking for romance, I feel like this this is romance, okay? But if you're not, if you're already spoken for, this is gonna be like a friend or a boss or something like that, that's gonna be very helpful for you, okay? But I do feel like this pile may be for those um, who've recently done like a lot of shadow work, maybe during like the full moon and the eclipse and your walls are coming down. 
So this person's gonna come in and yeah, I wanna say spoil you. <laughs> so get ready, pile three. So that was your message. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light.